Hi, welcome back to Wisconsin Women, where we are at the fabulous Contours Lingerie, where we'll be speaking with Teelan in a little bit, but uh, nothing better, honey, than to first off have a ginger sister along <laughs> with myself, but we love funny women, and we have one yes. right here today, Lisa Quam. You are the founder of and owner of Quamity. That's Girl. right, I am. Quamity, yes. thank you. Oh my thank gosh, you. Yes. so excited about this. Oh yes. my gosh, so <laughs> tell us about it. How did you find to do this? Um, so, you know, my whole life people have been telling me that I'm funny, um, and then when I was a kid we moved around quite a bit, and, you know, being the new kid is hard, but mm -hmm. if I could imitate the teachers or make people laugh, that was kind of like my way in mm -hmm. with them, so. Yeah, it's a yeah. good way to break the ice, it right? It is, it's yeah. a good way, yep. Oh my so, gosh. Yeah. Do you know what I've been like obsessed with for the last couple of years is Sebastian Maniscalco. I think he's hilarious. Okay. So I'm dying to know who your favorite comedian is. <laughs> um, so my favorite comedian is actually Carol Burnett. Oh. Oh, um, yes. I grew up, um, there was some trauma in my life growing up, and so I grew up um, watching her every week. Um, and then I would go and practice the skits in my room myself. I would play all the parts, have costumes, you know, not good costumes, but, um, you know, and so, yeah, I just, um, I just love her and I really admire her, um, not only because she's funny, but also because in the 60s, she was a woman and she stood up for mm -hmm. what she wanted. Um, she wanted her own show, they had it in the contract. And so she didn't let the, the men kind of bully her around. So, yeah. Yes, God, I love that, yeah. right? Yeah, and I um, actually got to see her last year in Milwaukee. Oh, oh my gosh. I oh. did, yeah, that was, kind of, that was really a dream come true. Um, and I was determined to ask her a question, and I did before I left, so. Oh. What oh was your God. question? You know, I wanted to just ask her something really profound, mm -hmm. um, but I thought I might get emotional, so I just asked her, I had turned 50, and so I asked her, if you could go back and give your 50 year old self any piece of advice, what would it be? And in true Carol fashion, she thought for a minute, um, and then she said, I'll let you know when I get there. Oh, so, yeah. adorable, right? <laughs> exactly. That's yes. sweet. Oh my goodness, yes. So um, let's talk about too, about especially when it comes to the material that you come up with. Mm. I mean, how does that go? Yeah, That's so a... I, um, I tend to joke mostly about myself, my family getting older. Um, and, you know, like every other comic, I have a notebook with me that I write things down, um, and then I, I kind of build on that and try things out. And, um, yeah, I just really use my own life. You know, I think if you can't laugh at yourself, especially when you get yeah. older, yeah. <laughs> you know, and things are happening to your body, um, you know, it's just, it's really fun for me to do that. Yeah. Oh, that's definitely what kind of gets you through the day sometimes, sometimes right? Sometimes, yes. yes. <laughs> exactly. So you got to be able to laugh at yourself. That's right. And to be able to kind of let down that guard, like when you were saying earlier about your teachers and moving around mm -hmm. a lot, like you have to let your, your guard down and be you able do. to be a little bit vulnerable. And I'm sure you probably feel a little vulnerable on stage. Sometimes, oh yes. Oh my gosh. And speaking of which, when do you perform and where at? Um, so my favorite spot to perform really is uh, Comedy on State. Okay. Mm -hmm. So on Wednesday nights mm -hmm. they have open mic night, oh, cool. um, and that's that's really a fun place to be. Um, and then I'm just I've been getting invited to more and more shows, and so um, it's just been fun to you know perform with different comics and kind of get that exposure as well. Oh, nice. So do you good. ever like when you say perform with other comics? Do you ever do it like like together together or just like one after each other? Um, so we normally do one after each other, okay. but there are also some shows where there might be some improvisers that start the show, um, mm -hmm. and then they make they uh, write material based on what the comics mm -hmm. are saying. Okay. Um, and then at the end, we usually get to perform with improv, and I've done improv too, yes, so it's girl. fun to it's fun to go. And I know you have too, so yeah. it's oh. kind of fun to like get in that mindset again and play those fun games. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I oh feel such gosh. a vibe with you. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, I love the comedy, like in you know doing the improv, like you said, uh, it's so 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 good. So, do you have any advice for people, especially if they're in their middle age, trying to get up in that show? And and, uh, start yeah, you know, I um, I used to live a lot of my life with fear. You know, I kind of mm -hmm. used to be afraid. What are people going to think of me? Um, and at one point, I decided I was not going to be afraid mm -hmm. anymore. Um, and so, you know, what's like, what's the worst that could happen if you put yourself out there? You might not be great, but that's okay. At yeah. least, at least you tried it. And 
you know, I just kind of feel like it's never too late to start something new and have right. have a lot of fun with it and mm -hmm. meet new people and, and just enjoy what you're doing. Yes, yes, exactly. Oh, I just love that you came on the show today and that you have these great performances coming up. So you said, um, tell us the name of the place again on State Street. Comedy on Stage. Comedy on Stage. Yes. Check this lady out. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. <laughs> yeah, that would be absolutely yes. wonderful. Yeah, and I, I do have a show next week um, at Gibbs, so I'm excited for that. Oh, next right. Wednesday. Next Wednesday. Well, yeah. congratulations to thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you guys so thing. much. Yeah, yeah. thank Ginger. you. <laughs> yes, Ginger, love you it. do. We love girl. it. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you, and thank you for watching. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back after the break.